off, guys. We found, uh, we wrote down our formula to find the area of our base, and then we wrote out the numbers we were going to use. So we said our base was three centimeters on our octagon, and the height was three and a half, and then we know we need to divide it by two because it's triangle, right? Okay, so when you solve this, you're going to start by multiplying, right guys? Okay, so if I'm multiplying a whole number by a mixed number, what do I have to do? What do I have to do first? Yeah. Um, That's 
some kids who are very good at computation. You guys are flying. Here are a couple answers. Billy? Hello? Emery? 42. Raise your hand if you got 42. All right, so take a look up here. Um, so it should be 42. So if you changed your mixed number to an improper fraction, you would have 21 fourths times, we have to change 8, we have 8 whole, you'd get 168 fourths, then you just need to divide, then you get 42. Okay. I have found the area of one octagon, one base. How many bases does an octagonal prism have? Hold up your fingers and show me. Two. So what do we need to do to 42? Times it by two, which is step two. Multiply it by two. So I'm running out of room, but I'm going to do 42 times two. I'm just doubling. Raise your hand when you have an answer. Dominic? Uh, 84. 84. So we know the sum of our two bases are 84 centimeters squared, right? Yes. We also know the sum of the faces is 168 centimeters squared. What's our last? step and we need to write this down. What's our last step? Oh, let's see. Bia. And we have to add uh, we have to add uh, 20 168 plus Good. So you need to add the area of the faces to the area of the bases. So I'm adding a step three. Did you write it down? So I have a tiny bit of room down here. I'm going to show my thinking. 168 square centimeters. I'm being precise by labeling my answer. Plus 84 square centimeters gives me what? What does that give me? Nolan. 252. 252 centimeters squared. That is your final answer. Let's add them up. 168 plus 84. Two, okay, one. Seven plus eight is 15. 252. Check your mat. All right, guys. Those are your three steps to find the surface area of non-rectangular prism. Now, let's put this aside and let's look at what we're doing today. So go ahead. Tear out what's the error. Page 151. It has the puzzle penguin. And I need a volunteer to pass out grid paper, Selma and Kyle, and let's turn the light on. Why is it dark? Puzzle is cloudy.
151.